The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor with STEM Connect, and thank you for joining today's session on our virtual college tour with Daytona State College. Today, we will be speaking with the Student Service Advisor, Alan Dodorostek. Please feel free to submit questions and comments through the question box. If you're on a computer, it will be on the side of your screen in the panel labeled questions. I will try to get all of your questions answered throughout the session. Do the presentation, I'll be in the background. So if you have any issues with audio or the video, please let me know in the question box and I'll help you to get reconnected. All right, so without further ado, I'll turn things over to Alan for the presentation. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Alan. I am the Student Services Advisor and Admission Recruiter at Daytona State College here in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are part of the Florida State College system, so there's about 28 state colleges in Florida, and we do have a great partnership. We accept each other's credits, so if you dual enroll in high school or if you're bringing in any um, ACE credits or IB credits from high school, um, you could transfer those credits as well, as long as you have the necessary score to satisfy college credit. Um, I'll talk for about 20 minutes or so. I have a presentation on Daytona State College. Um, our mascot, you can see that's Freddie the Falcon on our screen. Um, we are division one for all of our sports and Freddie the Falcon is at all of Many students don't realize that we do have seven different campuses. I am located at our main campus in Daytona Beach that you could see at the top left hand corner uh, we have an advanced technology college also located in daytona beach and that's where they have all of our engineering and it uh, technology programs they also have a robotics program there as well as our first responders programs such as our police academy criminal justice uh, law enforcement firefighting and emt paramedic our news journal center is home to our music school, music production technology, and they also put on plays, productions, and musicals, about one per semester. In DeLand, we have our dental hygiene program, as well as our associate's degree um, at our Deltona campus. That is our closest campus in relation to Seminole County, closer to Orlando and that features our daytime cosmetology program, along with a brand new ultrasound uh, technician program that they are starting in about a year from now. They are building a brand new facility for that there. I am the recruiter for our Flagler Palm Coast campus, and that has a two-year nursing associate's degree, along with our regular Associate of Arts University transfer degree. Um, that is our northernmost campus on the way to St. Augustine. And then finally, our New Smyrna Beach Edgewater campus is located right across from New Smyrna Beach High School. Um, and you can do your full associate's degree um, in New Smyrna Beach if you live in southeast Volusia County or commute from the Space Coast in Brevard County. It's a very comfortable um, commute from Brevard. And being part of the Florida State College system is important because that means that we are fully accredited. What does that mean? When you work hard towards earning your degree with us, you wanna know that when you go to earn a bachelor's or a master's degree or a doctorate, go on to graduate school, you wanna know that all those credits that you worked hard to, to achieve are going to transfer with you as you go on to another university once you finish with us. And so being fully accredited is very important um, at the collegiate level because that way you can rest assured knowing that all of your credits once you finish with us will transfer with you to um, a university to go on to a bachelor's or to graduate school. One nice thing about the Florida State College system and specifically Daytona State College is if you earn your high school, standard high school diploma, you are guaranteed admission to Daytona State College. We do not require SAT or ACT scores. However, if you go to apply for a scholarship through Daytona State on our website, through our Daytona State College Foundation, 
you can submit test scores um, with your scholarship application. And if you've spent four years at a Florida public high school and have taken the PERT test, then you would not need to take a placement test to start at Daytona State College. So right now we are in the middle of our full fall term semester, which is about 15 weeks. Um, and then coming up on October 24th, we'll be starting our fall B term, which is about a six week, six to seven week session that will end when we get to Christmas break. So students right now have the opportunity to um, study regarding face-to-face -face classes, strictly online, or a hybrid um, system, which is about half online, half in-person. And right now, in-person, we average about 21 students um, per class across all seven locations. We are the most affordable state college in Florida. It's about $102 per credit if you are a Florida resident at the associate's degree level. So we're about half the cost of a Florida State University. So you can save a lot of money by starting out with us and then transferring to a larger state university once you finish your associate's degree. If you're interested in applying for a scholarship, right on our website on daytonastate.edu. If you type in scholarships in our Google search tab, the first link that comes up will be a link to our Daytona State College Foundation website where you can apply and fill out one scholarship application and then be automatically considered for all relevant scholarship opportunities. That picture on our screen is Brianna. She was a student ambassador with us and she earned a scholarship just to give campus tours. Um, to prospective students and their families here at our admissions office. Some of our newer programs, um, I had mentioned the ultrasound technician program that's starting in about another year at our Deltona campus. We do have a new Bachelor of Science program in accounting. Our supervision and management bachelor's degree recently added a project management concentration, and we also recently added a two-year degree in optician technology. And we just opened brand new apartment style housing. Our residence hall opened this fall, uh, last month in August when our fall semester started. So for the first time ever, students can live on campus um, here at our Daytona Beach location. There's about 252 total um, spots available for um, incoming students. You do have to be a full-time college credit student to apply to live in our residence hall. And then this picture here is of our student center. It's like our student union. Uh, we have a Starbucks there. We have our cafeteria. We also have our academic support and tutoring center. We do have a writing center if you need help starting a research paper or an essay. And then we also have our library as well as career services so they can help you work on your resume. So that way you're ready to speak to prospective employers when they host job and career fairs on our campus every semester. So students can purchase a meal plan if they know that they're going to be staying on campus and living here. Uh, you would get a meal plan. Otherwise, if you're going to be commuting to our campus, um, you can just pay a la carte, whether you're utilizing our Starbucks location or our full service cafeteria. Now, I briefly touched about our sports that we offer here with regards to athletics. We are Division I in the National Junior College Athletic Association. And on the screen, you can see a list of all of our athletic programs, men and women. We also have club sports where you can play for fun. Uh, one example would be um, our swimming you can do for fun on our campus. And then we do have an aquatics and fitness center as well. So students can utilize, uh, whether it's the fitness center, some of our group fitness classes like Zumba or, or yoga or body combat, body pump, 
um, you can take advantage of that. Um, or utilize the aquatic center, the swimming pool. We have an indoor pool here at our main campus in Daytona Beach. Uh, one fun fact, all of our games are free for students to attend. You just have to show your student ID. So that's a really neat uh, aspect with regards to campus life. Getting into the different programs that are offered at Daytona State College, I, the way I like to explain the different options we offer would serve as a pathway. For example, a one-year certificate program. Say you'd like to study business and you earn a one-year certificate um, with us. And that would be attending Daytona State College full-time. It's about um, 30 credits or so. Once you earn that certificate and you decide, hey, you know what? I wanna keep going to school to gain that competitive edge over some of my competitors when I'm going for a job. So one more year in our business administration program full-time and you would earn an associate's degree. And then say you want to earn even a more advanced degree, two more years in that program and you would earn a bachelor's degree. So um, every program that we offer uh, serves as a pathway towards the next advanced a respective degree. And here's some examples of some of our two-year associate's degree programs. You can earn these degrees in about two years full-time with us. And we do have some neat partnerships with some of the other local universities that you could transfer to once you earn your associate of arts um, degree with us. So the main difference between an associate of arts degree an associate of science degree, both would be a two-year degree path if you attend full-time, but the associate of arts is a university transfer degree. So that program is designed to offer you admission um, into a university once you finish that program. So if you know you want to earn a bachelor's degree, the associate of arts transfer degree would be the best path for you. An associate of science degree, for example, nursing, um, is meant to get you right out into the workforce once you finish that Associate of Science uh, degree program. So that is the main difference between the Associate of Arts University transfer degree and an Associate of Science. And then we also offer about 12 different bachelor's degree programs. You'll notice that seven of them that are listed on the PowerPoint screen right now are in education. Um, we also offer a bachelor's degree in information technology, um, engineering technology, accounting, and then uh, business as well. So we do offer um, over 12 different bachelor's degree programs that you can apply for once you finish your associate's degree. Our most popular partnership is our Direct Connect with University of Central Florida. Once you earn your Associate of Arts transfer degree with us, you are guaranteed admission to UCF, and that partnership is called Direct Connect. You will work with a success coach if you would like to transfer once you earn your degree with us to UCF, and they will help make sure that you have all the necessary prerequisite classes. University of Central Florida is now the second largest university in the entire country but they do save a spot for all Daytona State College Associate of Arts degree graduates, which is a really neat partnership. And again, that is called Direct Connect to UCF. In the past year or so, we added a brand new partnership with the University of Florida in Gainesville. So if you study your Associate of Arts degree and earn that with us and would like to go on to University of Florida, to study agriculture or life sciences in their bachelor's degree programs. Uh, we do have a brand new partnership with University of Florida that you could transfer there if you would like to study, uh, whether it's in the agriculture programs or life sciences, and they offer over 15 different majors that you can choose from. As far as what are some of the resources that Daytona State College offers to help you succeed at the collegiate level here at DSC. Um, I had mentioned our academic support center, that's free tutoring. Um, if you ever need help in your class, we do have tutoring 
kind of set up like a computer lab area. We have multiple areas at our main campus and at our regional campuses as well. There's a writing center where they can help you, whether it's getting started on a research paper, making sure that your work cited is accurate and documented correctly. They can help you with your writing. Um, you can utilize the library. And all of these programs are free for students to take advantage of and utilize. As far as when should you apply to Daytona State College, if you are a high school senior this year, our application for the fall of 2023 is now open. So you can apply right now if you are a high school senior and you would select fall 2023 as the start term. Our application right now is free for students to apply. So I would definitely encourage students to apply early while the application is free to utilize. We only need your transcripts from your high school after you graduate. We do not need a mid-year progress report, so please keep that in mind. And you can start working on your financial aid um, coming up in October for, for next fall. And I always encourage students to apply for scholarships on our Daytona State College website. So how do you apply? It's a two-step process. You would first create an account. Our website is daytonastate.edu forward slash apply. And once you create the account, um, then you would go ahead and log in and complete the college application. Um, if you have graduated from a Florida public high school, you will not need a placement test. And again, if you are a senior, the application is open right now for the fall of 2023. So I'm going to show you all um, an example of what the application looks like. So again, that would be daytonastate.edu forward slash apply. You're going to create a username and a password. And then step two, you would log in and complete the application. So step one, you're going to create the account. And then you'll go to step two uh, to enter those credentials that you just created. This is the account creation screen. And again, right now it is still free for high school seniors um, to apply to Daytona State for next year. So I would definitely recommend applying while it is still a free application. And then step two, you would log in with that username and password that you just created. And you would select fall of 2023 if you're a senior and choose which campus you want to study at. And so that is our online application. Once you start it, you'll want to get all of the seven different checkboxes green. You'll complete the application, submit it. And then you will hear your decision from us um, within about two weeks or so. Uh, we try to admit um, all of our applicants uh, within a couple of weeks, you'll get your acceptance letter. And then if you ever have questions, we're here to help. Again, my name is Alan. I work in the admissions office. There is our contact information. If you need help applying for the free application for federal student aid, that is the contact information for our financial aid office. And then finally, academic advising helps you pick out your classes. They will be your resource which with regards to what classes do I need to take to satisfy my major requirements. So I appreciate you all taking time out of your day um, to hear more information about Daytona State College. If any of you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat box and I will take a moment um, now that I finished my presentation to answer your questions, but I appreciate you all taking time out of your day. And we do offer campus tours um, twice daily, uh, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and then also at 2 p.m. If you would like to book a campus tour, that's the best way to tell if the college would be a good fit for you. Uh, come out here, um, experience the campus, go on a tour, chat with some professors, current students, check out our cafeteria and our Starbucks. 
and see if the campus is a good fit for you. So by all means, please call our admissions office phone number listed on your screen if you would like to book a campus tour. Again, our tours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then finally, um, our next large campus visit experience would be our open house on Saturday, October the 8th. We are having a Falcon Discovery Day on Saturday, October the 8th. Um, space is limited, so please call us if you would like to reserve your spot for our upcoming open house Saturday, October 8th. Thank you guys so much for taking part of my presentation. Have a great rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alan, and thank you to everyone for joining today. And the recording will be available soon on our website at flstemconnect.com. Feel free to look out for our newsletter. We'll have that information also about the open house on October 8th. Thank you again and have a great day. I'll close the webinar for everyone.